For one night, and one night only, we're returning to Florence. Mateo and Misha, bar crawl edition. Because tonight, history is in the making as South Africa and New Zealand battle it out in Paris at the Rugby World Cup Final. That was insane! Whichever team is victorious will be the first country to win a record-breaking four Rugby World Cups. So this game is a pretty big deal. But before this evening's festivities begin, we're going to retrace our steps to show you where we met and lived in our mid-twenties. This was the door, yeah. Which in turn led to our very cliche love story. So grab a drink and get ready to head out on one roller coaster of an evening. Both physically and emotionally. You never know what's gonna happen at a Rugby World Cup final. Now only nine months. Feels like we just left yesterday. <laughs> oh hi! <laughs> you got small as elevator. <laughs> Max, four people in there. I don't know where they're gonna be. Oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> Sweet two o four. Oh, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. Yo, that's huge. It is massive. Cool. Look at that. We even got a little ensuite bathroom. What's our view? Do we have a good view of anything? This thing we saw. Ooh. Ah. Sound of suitcases down below. Noise. Sweet. Let's get drinking. We made it to Florence. We are here just for one night only. We're going to be watching the rugby final since not another single pub in this whole entire region is going to offer the rugby to us. The Lions Fountain, our old home, where I used to work, should be a banging town. But kickoff's in about six hours, and we're just going to stroll the streets a bit, go say hello to a couple friends, see what's up, have a beer or two, catch some food. Should be a real old good town. Trying to convince myself not to drink too much. <laughs> Because we still have to take a train back to our accommodation tomorrow. We're like walking billboards right now. We're the only two people that seems to be wearing jerseys. And a few people have been like, oh, wait, why are you guys watching the game tonight? So, you know, I feel like we're going to end up showing up to Lions Fountain with about a crowd of 50 people. So, Mateo and Misha, bar crawl edition. <laughs> oh, great time, oh, great time. <laughs> How are you doing? You're back. How are you, man? One night only, though. We have nothing to do. But this is, I feel like such a loser right now. All of our friends are busy. Like, what do we do? Thank you. All right, we've gotten our takeaway margarita pizza from, apparently it switched hands. Everyone was saying that Esmalto was closed after we made the wine window video. I'm happy to report that the wine window at this place is still open, but it's under a new restaurant name. So I think something happened to the old one. Now somebody else owns it and it's called Osteria San Fiorenzo. So, don't fret. If you did want to do the wine window, it is still there. Uh, it's just under another name. But we've got our margarita pizza. Just we've lining got, the stomach. We've got some beers. We're gonna sit and enjoy it in Santa Croce. The sun is starting to set. For those of you that don't know, Matteo and I actually used to live in this piazza. After we're done eating the pizza, I'll show you where. But we were just right on this one of the side streets next to Santa Croce. One of my apartments was literally facing the side of the church. You could like throw a rock and hit it. <laughs> it was that close so this is our favorite piazza just because it means the most to us and i actually have a photo literally right on this bench that mateo took on one of our first dates where we had pizza and beer on the bench <laughs> thank you we still got too many hours until the game so we yeah. gotta balance ourselves out line the stomach with half a pizza prepare for dinner in a bit 
We'll be all right. <laughs> Got little baby Moretti's to go with it. Margarita pizza. Oh, okay. That looks like a sad and old reheated margarita pizza. <laughs> Maybe it tastes really good. I mean, that's not what I was expecting. Why does it look like a flatbread? It's okay. It's just, it's just a pre-dinner snack. So we'll be okay because we're gonna have dinner in like an hour. Is it okay? It's funny, the more expensive margaritas, it just tastes like pasta, like tomato paste and base. This is why we buy the cheap ones down the alley. <laughs> this is like two to three euro more than we would normally pay for a margarita pizza. Funny enough, this is like probably the weakest one we've had in the country so far. Just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's gonna be better. But you pay a premium when you're in cities like Florence and also when you're near big piazzas. So it is what it is. We just needed a little bit of a snack because we're gonna go to Red Garter tonight before we watch the game. So it's okay. So we finished our less than average margarita pizza. <laughs> We're gonna go to our hotel room and grab our jackets before we head to our actual dinner. But I wanted to show you guys where we used to live when we were young and in love. Our first apartment was literally on the side of Santa Croce. Woo! The bikers here, gotta watch out for them. They're everywhere. So the side of Santa Croce is here. And this was the very first street. We called home together via the San Cristofano. Now it looks, the sun's setting, so it's a little bit dark. This was an awesome location. I mean, we would just step outside, our friend, like we'd always just meet up with friends and I don't know, we were always doing a million things back in the day. Oh, this, this was the door, yeah. It was right here. Number four. That was us. Two windows up. Ugh the memes uh, all right now we're just like power walking i feel like this whole day's been like a mission to nowhere <laughs> it's getting cold but though, so we now need to it's a mission our to our jackets oh <laughs> Watch out. wow i miss this city it is just bustling Hey, look who's in front of you. What's up, Are you good? You ready for the final? Ciao! Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh my goodness, the whole gang is here. How are you going? How's it going? Hey. They're working, so we're going to be hitting Lion's Fountain hard tonight. I don't want to. Um, underplay the stress Mateo Ahad. If you've been following our Instagram story, you know that we've been watching the World Cup games on our laptop, on a 13 inch, like streaming it through a VPN. It hasn't been the greatest. No bars have been playing it in any, like in Luca or any of the cities we've been going to. So we've come here specifically to watch it at Lions Fountain. But when we showed up, you know, people come and go, they leave their jobs. Mateo was seriously concerned that none of our bartending friends <laughs> were gonna be there tonight and we've just confirmed that they will be so i think we're in for a good night we're meeting friends along the way and telling them to meet us at lion's fountain for the game so i think it'll be a good night it's gonna be a damn good night i need to eat more oily food <laughs> for those of you that don't know mateo used to bartend at uncle jimmy's which is no longer in business but they were the sister pub to lion's fountain well jimmy's is a male's name so was oh. it the brothers but <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. I was like, what? Trick question. <laughs> so yeah, he used to bartend with these guys a few years ago when we lived in the in that cute little apartment next to the church, sleeping on the floor on a mattress the size of a freaking sheet of paper. So we're excited. It's panning out. It's going to be a good day. Don't worry. We're not total losers today. Exactly. What she said. <laughs> Can we just talk about how small this elevator is? <sighs> Two still not work. Just do one, then we'll take the <laughs> We're gonna take the stairs, but I wanted to show you how small this elevator is. This is the whole thing. So don't breathe out. The door won't open. Back to our room. We're ready to go. I feel very South African in this outfit. Not only do I have a Springboks jersey on, I also have a K-Way jacket on. So, there we go. We've committed. To keep country. Fun. Just kidding, you guys are in the <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Mateo looks like he's about to I go just, play polo or something. Why just, are you wearing your sweater like that? You should tie it. 
Absolutely not. Come I just on, downed look, about half a liter of so, water. There we go. because I'm a grown up. You look like Carlton. Let's go. We're back out here on them streets, going to Din Din. And we've come across our local Duomo here. Duomo. Duomo. It means cathedral in, in English. And there's the entrance to the baptistry. And there's the entrance to the cathedral. First time in a while I've actually felt embarrassed at you. Oh, I'm trying to be <laughs> you. Okay. This is me pretending to be Mateo. I do not speak like that. And if you get your compass and you point it northwest, you'll find the Basilica of Santa Deparata underneath the church. Combined He's ticket! actually factually correct. Really? That was just a guess. Yeah. Go check out a Duomo video if you want a full guide on how to visit all five <laughs> monuments of Piazza del Duomo in Florence. I will put a link for you. <laughs> this guy never stops working, am I right? How are we feeling? Are we excited? Are we amped? We are excited. I don't know what else to say. Good. And see. <laughs> okay. We'll be back to lines in a in a bit, but we're gonna go eat some din dins. My flag is still on the wall, so that's a positive sign. It's only been about six years. <laughs> American students writing on it with their permanent marker. It could be other South Africans. It could be other South Africans, but I, I, when I was there once, when I actually stuck the flag up, when I was sticking it up, one of the girls said, what did she say? It was like, what school is that? I was like, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I can't. Please tell me you're joking. Well, it's South African flag is not exactly, oh unless you know what it is, it's not exactly a... Oh, what school is that? What school is that? I remember the day you stapled it to that wall with Paolo and wrote your names on it. Hopefully the other South Africans are the names on the flag. People didn't just sign it at random. Because then we That's know that true. there's been South Africans in that pub. But and it is still holding strong. And what if you did sign that South African flag and you're not South African, would you deface your own American flag? Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> For all our students out there. They probably thought it was like Florida States. We appreciate the support. <laughs> Florida States. Florida State. It's still south, so that's good. <laughs> this man's on a mission for chips, and I don't mean Lay's. We made it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, we're not losers anymore. All of our friends are here. Now it's all good. We just got here too early. We used to get wings, but that's not going to be enough tonight. So I'm going to need you to ramp up I our efforts. I need wings. I need something carbohydrate-y. I'm trying to figure out what is the most absorbent food I can have with my beer. Chips. So Red Chips. Garter is our place to come whenever we get homesick. Is if it that... is dry turn. Yeah. Oh, mega tailgate. That wasn't here last time we were here. So if you want burgers, if you want like literally any American style food. Oh, I could do a hot dog though. I really could. We have slow cooked barbecue ribs. Hey, Celis, if you're watching this, this one's for you. Cheers. Cheers. This is it. Lining that stomach. Literally, Red Garter is the best. Oh, I've missed their fries so much. These are the crispiest fries ever. Right? We've got our burgers. We both got the rodeo. Rodeo burger. Oh, if you need pub food, wings, fries. I'm obsessed with the fries. Couldn't be happier to be back in the city having dinner here. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. <laughs> the best. And there's a whole section back here for karaoke. And upstairs and downstairs, it's loud. But fun fact, Mateo and I had our first kiss on that balcony. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Bye, Francesco! Oh, perfect. Now we don't feel like losers anymore because we've seen our friends. <laughs> Red Garter and Lions play the games. We love them both. We love eating at Garter. I, mean, I like watching the games at Lions, but depending on your vibe, you might like the opposite. I'm so full, I could literally so go to sleep right now. I'm so much food. Mateo so has given water. me strict instructions. Oh, where's Mark? Is he here? Is Mark here? The dragoon. That'll mess you up. Mark here. Oh, 
Oh no! Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Dang it. Mark, if you see this video, we tried to come say hi to you, but you weren't here. That pub that we just went into is the uh, pub Mateo and I met at for the first time. And he walked in and I was like, damn! Who was that? And then he opened his Holy mouth man. and I heard the accent. And that was that. <laughs> now we're married. <laughs> just kidding. Well, kind of like that. I went to Italian school here. Mateo went to Italian school here. Scuola Toscana. This is a very important street and piazza for us because then you round the corner and Santa Croce is right there. Wow, look at the moon tonight. It's a full moon. And this is why this neighborhood means so much to us when we were just young kids living a life. I'm actually cold, but I can't put my jersey on because that's Yeah, because then it all hides your, your thing. Yeah. 45 minutes to kick off, eh? And Lion's finish. Fountain, the place to be. Finally made it back. We need a drink. Be good. My flag is still here. I put up this flag about six years ago with Carlo. I mean, it's a little bit darker now. Back then, but... it only had your name and his name, and now it's got a bunch of names on it. The whole thing is just. Do you even remember what your name is on this thing? Oh, do you see Paolo? Where's Paolo? Wow, this thing got covered. Oh. <laughs> I took this photo. October 2017. Baby Mateo, Paolo, I forgot who the guy on the side is. It was Paolo's mate. Paolo's mate. Still there. And it's still, still going strong. It's strong as Here. It's still there. That's the most important thing. Man. 2017, baby. Can you believe it? That was so I long I could ago. handle it a lot better back then. <laughs> Not so much anymore. Let's go see if Luke's Springbucks jersey is still on that. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Make it friends. His brother Luca stapled a Springbucks jersey to the ceiling here. Hey, it's still there, there. Luca. Yours is the only name on there still. It's because he's the only one who stood on this counter. Do you remember him standing on this counter? He's the only playing South African support in the whole That's thing. hysterical. Yeah. Luca, you're you're still the only name on this jersey. <laughs> the game's about to start. Cheers, baby. I'm, I'm so sorry, the, the, the game hasn't even started and I've already let you down. You said no Stein and no shots and I've already, I've already given it's up on both fronts. helping so much with the food and the water. This guy. It's actually doing really well. Christian's here! I haven't seen Christian since 2017. Oh, it's so good to see you! Oh, Derek, nice to see you. And now we're here, new friends. Are you ready? Are we ready? Let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa. Amen! Come on! Cheers! The captain of New Zealand's yellow card just got upgraded to a red card on the 33rd minute. And we just got another tick through. Two, three. There is no coming back from this. Do not jinx it. Do not jinx it. Pull me as MVP. It's Kenny. He said that was insane. People, Lions Fountain's greatest bartender to ever exist. Hey, man, I was your bartender for a little yeah, bit, right? I know. Wow. <laughs> okay, so who's my husband? Okay. Now he's your husband. I 
I was terrible. I was absolutely terrible. That's actually true. Mateo used to make the drinks taste like gasoline. Can you confirm? Oh, Lore. Grazie mille. Thank you. Cheers. Gotta love some Sambutski. This is getting out of control. I have broken every promise to Mateo this evening. He said, one, don't let me order a side. That already happened. He said, two, don't let me take any shots. That already happened. And it's only half time. So, you never know what's going to happen at a Rugby World Cup final. It might be a knock-on. Yeah! Yes! Taken away. That was, that was taken away. Oh, it's, it's stressful. It's the tail's yeah, fault. Oh, and he's trying to say, and he tried to pass it on to me and say I jinxed it. Oh man, what's happening? I actually don't know. Salute. Salute. Oh, That's like a hard kick to make, bro. If you ever watch football, it's really that's not easy. It is getting stressful. There is literally seven minutes left in the game, and South Africa's only up by one point. I'm feeling 20 seconds. 20 seconds. There's 20 seconds left in the game, and it's still so now we're just only winning by one. Yeah. I'm getting an ulcer watching this. <laughs> No, you guys are part of the video now. Oh, no, we won! I know, I know, I know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. South Africa! How are you going to do that? I'm, I want to know how you're going to do that. I can't! Oh, no.
has won how many World Cups now? Four. First country to ever win four World Cups. Come on. Man, oh. what a night. I, I think this game tonight gave me like actually an ulcer. Yes. I, was just, I was actually a bit stressed. A little bit stressed. We were not well for like a minute. Actually, a couple of minutes. That was intense. <laughs> I'm so stoked. So stoked. The best part of this is that his dad flew to Paris on Thursday, got there on Friday, and is literally flying home tomorrow. And it was like a bucket list experience for his dad. And I'm just so happy that they won. It was only by one point, dude. The quarterfinals, the semifinals, and now the actual final. South Africa only won by one point in each of those games. And honestly, I think that's what most excites me is that your dad was there in Paris and they won and it was worth the trip, you know? The next one is in Australia. It's too far. Means, uh, it's out of everybody else's time zone, so. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, wow. What a game, man. What a game. Guys, it is like literally 1.15 in the morning and these streets are still packed. Now we're going to get burritos from my favorite place in Florence. Okay, never mind. First, we're going to go say goodbye to one of our other friends and then we're going to get a burrito. You know, Los Chicos is it at the end of a night. Somos de Africana y Americana. Facciamo un canale su YouTube. Come si chiama? Sì. Matteo. Matteo, si chiama Matteo. 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 Ma dove sei? Luana. I am from Argentina. Argentina. One Italian, one Argentina. Oh, go to Porto Sei, sei, sei go. Eh, go. Go. Visita di Porto Vani. Oh. These streets do be getting wild. We just had an hour long conversation with us. It is almost two in the morning and we are still going to another pub before we go get a burrito because we have to say goodbye to one of our other friends. Did we used to do this like all the time? I'm actually confused. Were we like this in our youth? And I think we got so wrapped up in that conversation that our friend has now left the pub. Can I get a burrito now, man? Love it. Hey! hey. 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 We've picked up a few friends who want to be in a YouTube video. The global expats. Eccoli. Iscriviti. La prima è Sicilia. Siciliani! Ciao. Ciao Siciliani! Di dove? Agrigento. Agrigento oh. va bene. Ciao. 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 Ciao! This night is just going, man. What time is it? Literally show me your watch. Is it even still on? 132. It is literally 1.32 in the morning. Can we just talk about to Florence. how busy it's <laughs> Yo, everyone is still out. Are we going to get burritos or what? Are they still open? No, oh, please. This is like my saving grace. Ciao. Oh, goodness. I love a Los Chicos burrito. What? No, God. <laughs> I was trying to hydrate. Atta, my man. Oh, this is like already a bad decision. But this is we're actually just going really back. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Enjoy, guys. Oh. Hey, perfect. Hey. Ciao. 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 Buonasera. Oh, love those chicos. Got our burritos. They're so really hot. Oh my god, it's so warm. <laughs> My <laughs> we have met so many characters tonight, it's not even funny. That is spicy. Love to hear it. There are so many people out on the street right now, it's like not even funny. Oh. Video. Ciao! Ciao! Uh. I love you! I love you! <laughs> Perfetto, grazie! What champion! <laughs> what happened? Why is this thing going on scared? It's probably got drunk. Oh, no ways. You, you've... Oh. <laughs> yes. This is how we're going to end our evening. It is currently 2.40. 2.40 and it is night time now. 2.40 in the morning, We've yeah. We've had a successful day. 
met up with everybody who wanted to meet up with and it's been a good evening. This that place is bang. It's literally 2.40 and people are walking past us. Luckily, check out 11. We'll be all right tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for following our adventure. We wish you a good week and we shall be posting next Saturday for Pisa. Nice. You guys will check what we did in Pisa. <laughs> it's a very exciting city because of its leaning tower. But we actually got up to a lot more than just the leaning tower. So peace out. Have a good week. We hope you guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, this channel. Oof, look at you with that moon. Look at you. So poetic. <laughs>